a sub 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 Sebastian be in the hood like an engine block dude that rhetoric you spit I ain't hearing it what's up my people this is show biz the adult first and foremost let's give love to Santa Cruz and what he did with Rivera. That was a great action-packed fight, like always. You're only going to expect an action-packed fight with Santa Cruz, so great victory for Santa Cruz. And he's looking at the likes of like Gary Russell next. I'm definitely looking forward to what Santa Cruz has next. But let's talk about the subject. 6'7", super welterweight, Sebastian Fedora. Okay, I, I, this is the first time I've seen him, so my bad. I see this guy walk into the ring against Donnie Marshall, okay? I look at him, and I'm like, that's not a boxer. That's a javelin. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. Six, seven, super welterweight? It, let, if I'm doing the math, is that six, seven, 154 pounds? No. I'm looking at this guy fight. This guy has the nerve to have a Mexican style. This guy has the nerve to be 6'7". He can hit you from one side of the ring, you on the other side. He can hit you from one side of the ring to the other. But he decides to fight you belly to forehead, Mexican style. Poor Donnie Marshall. I'm looking at Donnie Marshall trying to land a shot on this guy. Danny Marshall is... is <laughs> and of course, of course Fedora doesn't care who can... Who, who can muster power from this angle? No one can muster power like this. And Fedora is sitting there, head in the sky. Just, he's getting hit with clean shots. There's no power on it. And he's throwing uppercuts. Just body shots. I mean, this guy here. You would think someone 6'7 would be way out here with it, hitting a little guy who's a super welterweight. No, he's here with it. Mexican style, action packed. He hurts Donnie with an uppercut, almost knocks him across the ring, and then he comes back and stops Donnie with killer instinct. This kid is only 21. Understand, he won't be at Super Welterweight forever. He's a baby. At 6'7", he definitely has room to grow. But it doesn't really matter. When he goes to middleweight, he's 6'7". My brother, my oldest brother, he was telling me about talent. And he was, tell he was talking to me about Errol Spence. And he said, sometimes your talent is actually in making weight. You have a great talent in making weight. This guy is the epitome of it. This guy is 6'7", and he can make 154. So I'm looking forward to what this guy has to offer. I'm looking forward to his future, okay? Now, I, I saw gaping flaws in his game. Of course, he's 21, I think he's 12 and 0. I saw gaping flaws in this game, but I'm saying, with experience, things gonna get back. I tell you what, he should use his reach, but not using his reach is very exciting for me to see a 6'7 guy belly to forehead tussling with another guy. That is something else. So let me know how you feel about Sebastian. So let me know how you feel about Fedora. Do you think that he's all hype or do you think that he's somebody that you can seriously get behind and root for and could really make an impact in the super welterweight division, middleweight division? Are you looking forward to his future? Please comment below, let me know, and showbiz the adult. Woo! Woo! Hold on! Yeah! Showbiz the adult! Showbiz.